Ricky Smiley, distraught, unable to see his granddaughter. Ricky Smiley is feeling the weight of seasonal depression. But the entertainer also has been mourning the tragic loss of his firstborn child, Brandon Smiley, since January, as well as the pain of being estranged from his son's three year old daughter, Storm. Ricky wrote in an ex post on October 20th ahead of a show in Columbus, Ohio. Changing of the season is triggering sadness, anger, despair, confusion, complication, hurt, irritation, pain, grief, worry, paranoia, pressure, distance, spiritual warfare. Just some of what I'm feeling. Ricky continued, I miss my son. And I keep dreaming about my granddaughter. It's tearing me apart. I miss my consistent, loving, and genuine grandparents who've gone on to be with God. No one on this earth would understand but them. The morning radio show host opened up in the past months about his fight to gain grandparents' rights to ensure he and his family continue to nurture their relationship with the three year old. Lena Black Star with the details here. In an April Instagram Live, Ricky claimed his last time seeing Storm was at Brandon's February homegoing service. He said he made several attempts to contact the child's mother to schedule meetings and invited them both to a family Easter gathering. His requests were allegedly ignored, forcing the comic to pursue legal intervention. He also divulged that Brandon and Storm's mother shared a rocky relationship and that The aspiring entertainer also endured obstacles to gain access to his only child. You're hurting her. You're hurting her. The best thing ever happened to me was having my grandparents around and just having wonderful grandparents, said Ricky in the live session. In four short months, the Friday after next actor will mark a year since he laid his son to rest. 32 year old tragically passed away in January, reportedly from fentanyl and alcohol toxicity. For years, he struggled with addiction. The milestone could also mark a year of estrangement for Ricky and Storm. Jesus. Elsewhere in this emotional post, Ricky wrote, can't even go to the cemetery to visit my grandma's grave because Brandon is buried next to her. Bad mistake on my end to do that, so I'm stuck as far as that just ain't going. Even though his own sorrow, Ricky wished, though, through his sorrow, he wished love and happiness to his fans, promised that he would still show up for a scheduled performance. The BET Comic View alum also has three other children. And for many others, he has served as a father figure, Atlanta Black Star filling in. The details, Mayor, my heart breaks for him and for if we're to believe everything that he has detailed. A little girl probably misses Grandpa too. This is um, this is an extremely uh, touching story because as a grandparent, I mean, I'm I'm not a parent or grandparent, but just realizing that. These, you could just snatch your child away from the grandparents without any repercussions, and I think that is that is a that is a that is a serious thing. And if we care about people as they age, then this is something we should also be obligated. We want to make sure that we protect this vulnerable population. And I'm not saying that uh, Ricky Smiley, who has access, more access to most people, are vulnerable, but he's not the only grandparent probably caught up in between uh, a, a bad situation or losing access to their grandchildren when they shouldn't. Um, and I think that is that is um, it's a touchy situation. I, and I I first met Ricky Smiley in, in a freak moment. And I, I call it freak because I would have met him if he would have did what every other famous person at the time had done. Back when Jenna Six happened. Uh, mm-hmm. All of the cameras, all of the people rolled out there um, when 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 all of the national media was there, uh, screaming, acting as if they were the head of the protest, all of the march for people that who came from all over to go to Jenna, Louisiana, about what was happening, the nooses in the trees and whatever. But as soon as the national media pulled out, most of the famous people pulled out, and I'll call their names. Uh, Michael Blacks, Michael uh, Blazden, uh, 
D.L. Hewley, um, Common, all of those guys just left. Ricky Smiley literally, literally, even when the crowds was following the famous people, stood in front of the police officers crying and screaming, demanding that they free those six people, let those black bodies out because they had done nothing wrong and refused to, to the point where he was almost locked up himself uh, because he would not move out front of the police station, even when they were trying to push and create a line to push him back. He stood there. So I, I, I see that compassion for people that are not even related to him. I can't even imagine what he's going through. And the fact that you can't grieve properly or go visit with the people that you think can relate the most to your grandparents because you got to be reminded of this new wound where you're, you lost your own seed is, is, is a damning situation for that brother to be in. And my, my prayers are out for sure. Yeah, I um I haven't met Ricky, but this first person account that you've related is one I've been treated to before. This is who this man is. And a lot of times when you are in front of the public as much as Ricky is on the air every day for hours, you can't hide it. Not the movies. It's real. And uh I pray grandparents should not usurp parental rights, but that's not what we're talking about here. Children heal. And if you can figure it out, even if you don't get along with the other side, I can't imagine doing that to somebody. You don't have to like them. It's not your granddaddy. I think about the kids. So we'll keep following it. 